What are you two doing? So we got these new chairs today. And Hannah found her way into one of them about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and she hasn't come out of it yet. Hannah, you look <laughs> so comfortable. <laughs> well, and we have to tell our friends about these chairs because boy, did we get a deal. <laughs> Well, do you like it in there? I do. It all surrounds you nice and... You look nice like Edith Ann. Yeah. It looks like it hugs her. <laughs> yeah, like a shelter chair. Well, let me tell you what happened. These chairs were on... They were discontinued, so there's right? Two there's two of them. They were discontinued and at our house. And so they were... Our house furniture. Our house furniture. And they were selling the floor models, but guess what? This like never happens to me. I went into our house and somebody had incorrectly priced the chairs for about a third of what right. you had seen it in there for about a month ago. And I think what they did is they accidentally put the price of the cushions as the full price. And right. lo and behold, they let me have the chair. Well, they let me have one chair for that price. And then I got the second chair from a different store for the closeout floor sample. So all in all, I would never have bought these at full price. There was only price. one left at one store and one right. left at the other store. And then you ended up, I went today in the right. big van and picked them up because it saved $200. Yes, it go, did. To go... And they barely fit in our seven-foot van. <laughs> and, and I needed help with everything. I kind of like wild and funky things, but they actually are pretty um, modern looking. They're kind of cool looking, actually. They're very and comfy. they're very comfortable. Even we think so, right? They're not the chairs I was going to buy, but I couldn't pass up the deal. So... Why, ask, why, Hannah, why do you like it so much? It's because, it's because it has a nice velvet texture. It has velvet. Yeah. Describe the chair. So it's it's like, basically it's taller than me. Like way up here, my arms are too short, yeah. but way up here. And normally the, you don't have sides that surround you like from right to left. You would just have armrests about here or down lower. Does here. that give you right. safety and security and comfort? Yeah, it does. And I was thinking we could get some bolster pillows to put here on the sides. Yeah. Right? That might be kind of nice in place of arm rests. But you can yeah. hear yourself talk in there, too. Yeah. How are the acoustics in there? Uh, they're they're just perfect. Oh, you how should about? sing us a few bars can or something. You sound effects and, and songs? <laughs> well, okay. Have you ever been to the water spout at the very bottom of the water system? There you will find a little alligator who goes by the name of Alfred. If you do, he's mine. I lost him. I threw him down the water spout and now I'm feeling lonely cause he's gone. I miss him. <laughs> so how are the acoustics there, Hannah? <clears throat> well, they're very full. Oh, very full. Okay, well, that's that makes sense. Do you sound like you're in a water spout? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> cool. I'm glad you're enjoying the chairs because that makes it worth it. Yeah, it does. And that makes me feel a lot better about making that purchase. All right, let's go. Let's see how her. her yeah, put your feet down. The ground. Oh. This is hilarious. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> now bit. you look like Edith Ann. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know who Edith Ann is, do you? No. She said, she said, hello, my name is Edith Ann, and I'm five <laughs> years old. My name is Edith Ann. <laughs> and she sat, Hannah, she sat in a great big humongous chair like that with her feet dangling, and she'd, she'd move her feet. Here, move your feet back and forth. Uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> I, 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 Hannah, yes. a.k.a. Edith. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got to go back and finish cooking dinner so that it doesn't burn. All right, well, I'm, enjoy I'm glad you're enjoying the chair. Are you going to come out of it when we have dinner? Yeah. Okay. So I don't have to serve you in there? Hour. Yeah. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya. Are you back from... Yeah. Boy. Well, you don't want this there. No, not when the fire is going. Well, it really does take 100% of both of us to run this operation, doesn't it? I just went to Walmart. Just to get provisions. Yeah. Just it, to get us through the next 10 days. 
And well, then, just a couple. It's yeah, week, the breakfast stuff that we go through. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but about a week, because then you'll go and do the Thanksgiving run. Oh, runs. <sighs> yeah. Costco and grocery store and all that stuff. But you all don't like shopping stuff. at Walmart. But I already did a big grocery thing. Yeah. And so I won't have to go again big until um, Thanksgiving. Yeah. But and I got a haircut. See? You got a haircut. You returned some things for me. You went and picked up some provisions. It keeps me home this week. Right. Because I desperately need to clean upstairs. Right. But it's, and get caught it's up getting on dark at 5 o'clock. Right. So it like cuts the day on a weekend especially. Yep. To, to get us. But we're... We're here. We got dinner cooking, so that's a good thing. We're getting there. I'm just gonna stick this chicken in the oven, and, good. Then... and do you know that you can't buy hardly any more um, breast of chicken? Yeah, with what's up bone, with that? With a bone in it. What's this up with that? That's the way you that? like it. That is the way I like, like it. Forty different varieties of skinless, boneless breasts. But like, I I asked the help. I asked everybody. Where can I just get? Bone the in, bone in breasts, white meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, we sometimes carry it. Sometimes we don't. I know I'm it's looking, crazy. Looking, you looking. can't get it at Costco anymore. And then anymore. I found two packages, basically. So did you get both of them? No, oh. I just got one. Oh, you should have grabbed them both. But that's okay. Yeah. So I don't know what it is with boneless skin. I know that's. Breasts, I don't know what it is either. Bone in, because we, the kids, and I all eat dark meat, which is. You know, thighs and drumsticks, which are easy to buy. I know, I'm the only one who like. I do like white meat. You like white I meat don't with the for, bone in it. I don't cause... like dark meat. I don't know why. I know. I'm weird that I way. Know. But anyway, I got it. I Good. got some. Okay. So, mission accomplished. I'll put this stuff away right. and get this dinner cooked and we'll be in good shape. Okay, so I just got home from grocery shopping, as you know. and I Which just, I appreciate. I know. But I just got a notification from Colleen Vlogs, so Colleen Ballinger, right? So her title of the video is, I don't know where I fit in. Do any of us really know where we fit in? So I started listening to her vlog and I thought it was very interesting because she does, um, she, like, she loves to vlog, which we don't typically vlog. So that's not something that we typically that's do. That's not what we like do? The first person vlog, we don't do it in the style. Like the people that talk to the camera? Yeah, but she says, she was saying that, you know, she's not a, she's a, she's a mom, right? And she's talking about all these trendy things that people do on YouTube and things like that. And she says she's not that. And, and I was thinking of that the other day because you know, we're getting asked by sponsors a lot of times and sponsor affiliates and things like that. Like, what's our category? What's our, like, niche? What's our thing? And it's like, we don't fit in. We never those. have fit we into any have. category or, so, or box. Are we a family channel? Yes. Yes, a large family. Uh, but we don't vlog or you know, a film just about family or parenting no. or kids. We're also not really disability advocates. We're not. We, We're we living have, with that, but... We have, um, you know, a disability aspect to our family, just like one-fifth of other families in the United States have an as aspect of disability in their, in their life. We're not about blindness. Per no, se, not, although not really. we have, we're living with it. But. We have, you know, blind kids in our family. We're not about autism, even though we have we're autism. Living with that, right? Intellectual disabilities. Um, we're just know, a family. We're a family that is living our life and just doing what we do every like day, like everyone else is. And you know. I think what's good about what we're what we're doing is that I think watching our family in an ordinary setting brings smiles to people's faces, which is a good thing. Um, our kids love doing these videos. Our very cool, extremely cool, awesome, amazing kids, you mean? You mean like Hannah over there? Like Hannah over there has been hanging out with me a lot since we got those yeah. new chairs. So our kids <laughs> love to watch the videos. They watch our videos. They watch other channels. Them. As we There's speak. another couple of them coming in. <laughs> but we don't fit in either. 
And, and no. we're not a lifestyle channel. We're not a slime I think it's channel. awesome to not fit in. We're not. We're not. We don't do pranks. We don't do make-believe stories like secret mansions and missions and nothing you know, wrong hidden, with that. That's entertaining. And you know, and and she was saying like, well, she can't afford to you know set people's cars on fire and buy them a new one. <laughs> you know, or, I think that's or crazy. Have, or or set up ten thousand magnets to stop you know a cannonball. I mean, these are things that that we don't do, and we try not to create. A narrative, although that's I, so I fun don't to do. really I watch those videos, honey. I don't think we have to create any narratives. We have to create anything. <laughs> but you know where we fit in. We have narratives. Where we fit in is we don't fit in, and that's what makes us interesting to watch. I think. And as soon as other people figure that out and realize that they're their own unique individual. They don't fit in anywhere either. Why do we have to fit in anyway? Yeah. I mean, you and I, I tell you, we're classic examples of we don't go along to get along. We don't, as soon as somebody tries to tell us what we should do or how we should do it or seems like they're controlling us and putting us into a situation that we don't fit into, we run well, the other direction. You know, we we don't allow it. We have a core set of skepticism and mm -hmm. values and um, character that we've kind of built and relationships that we've built over the years. And we are not quick to jump on things. And and then we go research things out and you know, figure out even this YouTube thing, you know, we don't really know what we're doing. Well, um, no, we, we are not following <laughs> We, we, we are definitely not following a script. You can tell, I mean, you're behind the camera, mm -hmm. right? And you're filming me. I know we don't plan and script anything. Um, we don't set up a camera on a tripod and say, Hey, let's talk about stuff. Like Although, you just came in just now and that. said, turn your phone on. I got something to say. Yeah. So and, there and you part go. of that is just like the reason why the reason why people should make YouTube videos is because they have some value, some uniqueness that they should expo explore and, and, and share it with other people, even if no one watches, which is well, kind of Well, I just like the idea of having them forever, you know, as a record for our own family. Yeah. Too. That I mean, that's kind of cool. Is, is is pretty, is pretty There's neat. a lot of value but to that. A lot of people would say, well, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to do a YouTube channel because X, Y, Z, you know, there are, there are good reasons to do a YouTube channel just for yourself, just for your own family. And you can share amongst friends and relatives and things like that, which is totally, totally fine. But you know, a lot of us have value that we can share and it's hard these days because we're not involved in communities like we used right. to be. We're not involved well, look in at what you know, we've a close knit found community. Since we've been doing this, I mean all of the support that even even from you know, across the ocean right. and friends that we've met and the people that we've come in contact with that we never would have known. Never. You know, and, and wonderful. What people. links us together? Well, with one family, it might be autism. With another mm -hmm. family, it might be blindness. With another one, it might be, you know, uh, struggles yeah, with different uh, with, things with, with intellectual disabilities or meltdowns. Or, or even somebody who was out of work. I mean, I've heard of work from a lot of people that can relate to that and, that we've been through. But you know what? Everyone has a story, and that story is very interesting. It's what makes us unique. I only wish that my ancestors from nine generations ago who came to this country. You wish they had done a YouTube in channel? 1687, <laughs> I wish they had done a YouTube channel or just written a diary. How crazy that would have been to be able to look at that today, you know, and say, Get into their heads oh a little bit. Oh my gosh, why did they do the crazy things that they did and go, and go forage out a, a half acre of land somewhere and build a homestead, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Five families together did that. And it's like, wouldn't I love to have a document that explained or a diary or something like that. And that's what a, you know, what a YouTube channel is and a YouTube, you know, story. 
Um, I do have like letters from a relative that was in the Civil War, his letters to home. And it was like, wow, this is really interesting. It was an interesting view you know, into his life. And I had to go to the Rutgers Library and look at those pages that were almost deteriorated to see those, writ those writings that he wrote 150 you know, years ago. So Crazy. it's a lot easier now with the internet and you know we're really blessed to be able to do this. I mean, People I just, that are watching this now, that's what Gary Vee said in one of his videos, hey there's people a hundred years from now watching this very video. And well, that's okay, I'm true. not sure that's true, but things but, change and, and move along and, and I don't and know, so, that would be pretty cool if they can and if they, you know, somehow if it gets you know, stored away into some kind of a library for future I'm, I'm sure it's consumption. will be available forever and ever. But anyway, we don't fit in. Bethany, you're awesome. Jesse doesn't fit in. <laughs> Bethany doesn't fit in. But we all fit in. We all fit and in yet, together, don't we, we guys? Yes. Do and we, we fit in together? Yeah. And yeah. our subscribers fit in to, oh, yeah. our, to our extended family. And we say it every day. Just, we just love these guys. Even today, I mean, I was telling David, he was, he was, we were cutting the tags off of his new slippers that Celia sent, and I said, "How cool is it that you have a friend in Spain who sent you a pair, something so personal as a pair of slippers?" I, it's so <laughs> cool. Did you, try it on? you know, he did. He loves them. They fit. Yeah. <laughs> He's upstairs doing homework now. But, but how cool is that to have new friends in all these different countries? It's pretty the world. stinking cool. Yeah. Pretty so, neat. but anyway, the point of the matter the point of the matter is, even if we don't all fit in, guess what? We, we fit, all in. fit in. Yeah. So, uh, thankfully, you YouTube have to started like this thing a long else. time ago, and they said broadcast yourself. That's all you're supposed to do, right? Broadcast huh? yourself. If anybody watches, eh. It's That's way fun. Thing. We're having a blast it doing it. So fun doing YouTube, right, Bethany? Yeah. All right. So, you know, my I just want to add one little thing. You know, one of my favorite things that we get in the comments pretty frequently. Why in the world do you put this family? Why is, is it a good idea for this family to be on YouTube? And, and my question is, well, why not?